Hello and welcome to another week of training. So, a longer video this week um, because I had a bit of a deload week um, and then decided to make up for it by filming every set of my final session. This was Monday. Um, by the way, I am drinking Fentiman, so if you're listening out there, Mr. Fentiman, or, or Mrs. Fentiman, or Ms. Fentiman, sponsor me. Cherry Cola only. I don't want to drink your normal cola. Um, but yeah, Monday, uh, obviously this was the couple days after the, the 171 clean. Um, I was, I was, I was depressed as hell, to be honest, and I, yeah, I ended up satching 115. This was all on the program, and it was two pulls at 125, um, which was fine. Um, I was depressed as hell, basically. Um, and after this session I couldn't do the front squats on this session but everything else I did I did everything else for fine to be honest um, I just went to bed and I didn't really didn't to be honest didn't really get out of bed for two days um, just unbelievably depressed um, which doesn't to be honest doesn't happen to me super often if ever I'm mentally ill as in need to not be in society ill it's for different reasons mainly uh, not not just depression like it's uh, more psychosis stuff and you know I feel like I'm more at harm more at risk of harm um, to myself obviously um, so it's never just depression so that was weird so so yeah here we are that was Danny uh, so I had a deload week, basically. I told coach to, um, I was like, look, I can't do this. It's been, to be fair, yeah, I've, I've done very, very hard training multiple times a day for, um, or six days a week for, I think, 10 or 12 weeks now. Um, and I've made loads of gains, but uh, yeah, I just needed a week. Burbsy. Burbsy. To make the mood lighter. Although he's wearing a bit of a dark... I don't think I've seen that shirt before. Weightlifting house. Maroon. Like a weightlifting West Ham. That is something I found on GeoGuessr. One of the greatest games ever. You get dropped off in the world and you've got to find where you are on Google Maps. That was me getting 100 perfect score with the UK bit one. Uh, what's, what's this? Oh, this is um, Ronin on X Files. Ronin, Ronin, it's a samurai without a master. Play made a cake. This is a nice one, red and yellow. They're all nice, but red and yellow. Lee, Lee with a beanie as well. It's windy there, didn't it? At 50. Uh, this was uh, my highest score on a non UK one. It was uh, Israel. Right. No more. No more nonsense. Just weightlifting. 107 kilos for Burbs. Burbs had a good week, actually. Final week of. Well, final week of most people's programs. Um, Burbs had a very good week. Um, he got a low hang snatch PB, which was the goal. And it's very close to the goal that we wanted. Um, I think he did have 93. He hit 90, basically. And he wanted to hit 93. Um, but it, it was, he had a couple of close attempts. He was a bit slow. Um, and then he, he hit a... Well, I programmed him to hit... This is funny. You pulled me into the situation because you didn't have the courage to reveal the truth yourself. Feel better now? You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I programmed Bubsy to hit a PB at 125 on the low hang clean uh, because he told me his PB was 120 something or 1 something and then he turned out it was actually 128 and he lied to me so um, that was annoying because because <laughs> I could have programmed him 130 <laughs> um, but he would have had it anyway it moved really well so um, this was me awakening from the dead of uh, on like a Wednesday or a Thursday maybe and I actually did okay I hit a nice 
no foot power snatch at 100 uh, slow pull and then I was doing no, no I was doing pause power clean and then push jerk and I actually got to 120 now 100 120 for these these variations are weights that I would have had to get to the end of a cycle for now annoyingly the jerks on these the dip again did a little bit of a milson and then a 150 tempo triple um, it's not a Benedict standard tempo because apparently that's over the top um, but yeah um, I, I call bullshit on that the jerk dips weren't great I did a session the day after super light and I figured out a cue something and I figured out what was wrong the whole time I think, I've said this a thousand times, but I do think this is the whole thing. I got my nutrition uh, certificate. I was going to say degree then. My nutrition certificate, they asked me to pay £210 for it, or £30 to not get it, and I paid 30 and they gave it to me anyway, so... S sucks to be them. Uh, but they're throwing around some weight. Yeah, I figured out a cue, and it was all to do with... Uh, it had nothing to do with the dip. It was purely to do with my stance uh, before the dip, actually, so... I'm going to do that not that shitty YouTube thing that people do and just not tell people what it is. Um, Harry, 90 kilos, which is 90%. And I'll tell you what, that moves very well. Very, very well. So, he's doing well. This is uh, Basham's Graphs. That's Lee's um, breakfast. He needs to up his sausage game a little bit, maybe at least one more. That's me in the background. That's Lee. Lou Jadron is uh, Lee and making sausages and Auntie Anta in the background. Like, whoa. <laughs> we made a new platform area, kind of box lifting area, bounce, which is cool. Great little area. And then on Thursday, a couple sets of snatch deadlift, a uh, couple of reps. Um, this was the day I figured it out. It wasn't this set, though. Although that was actually okay. It was a set after I came back to it. This is Lee. I told him I put this one in this video. This is 80 kilos. Which is up there, but not a PB, it's up there. Where are we going again? We're going. We are going again. Uh, <laughs> what a lad. I think... I do kind of feel this, because it's the whole garden thing as well. Like, it does not help, because you obviously don't want... You can't really miss. Um, or stuff gets broken. And then he just comes back and smokes it, so... I was really happy with that, to be honest. So, fair play to him. And a front squat. That takes a lot, I think, to come back twice. 83... And a front squat. And then I think he goes for a PB. 86. And he sits down there for a second, but he still stands up fairly easily. Uh, I think he... No, he doesn't do a front squat, but that's a PB clean. So, epic. Uh, these are Burbsy's low hangs. So, 85. Unbelievably nice. We're talking last warm-up. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe one more, but that's probably last warm up for snatch. And then, not sure about that one to be honest. Um, I think this day, I mean, again, that's fantastic. Like, that's like a last warm up, even if it isn't going to be. And then he had a couple attempts at 93, um, which I don't know if he should have made, but he could have made, I think. Um, just a little bit slow getting under. Um, not fully extending on that one. That was a slightly better attempt, but I think that day he said he was getting his session was getting interrupted like every couple of minutes. Um, so it's, it's really hard to mentally get out of that. But right, big stew, 95 kilos in the meme gym. Set five, which is his three RM for set five, I believe. And I tell you what, on the last rep, he does do a full clean. <laughs> 
Oh my word, look at that. that wonderful. He's just getting better and better and better. And he had, I'll tell you what. At the end of the week. And we went to uh, Saturday. Uh, we went to a CrossFit uh, gym in Epsom, me and V, for his quarterfinals for the CrossFit uh, Open. It was a really cool gym, actually. We needed a 15-foot rope or something, so that's why we were here. That's him warming up. He did really well, actually. Super well. Basham and Harry warming up for sprints. Harry, the most suspiciously good, technically, sprinter that you'll ever find. is a football player, ex-football player. Should not be a good sprinter, but... What was I going to say? Big Stew, um, this is me warming up, by the way, for low block snatch. This is what I was talking about. Last session of the week. 3RM, low block snatch. Big Stew hit a 10 centimeter broad jump PB and a 1 meter <laughs> PB in the 5 broad jump. So, uh, unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable, to be honest. His power and his strength to weight, weight ratio is through the roof at the moment. He's going to weigh himself in the morning, actually, which I'm quite excited for because um, he's kind of... He lost a lot of weight. Um, he's got really lean recently, to be fair. But um, Right, so, final session of the week. I felt good again. This was the only session of the week that I actually didn't full. Uh, all the other sessions, I just did one or two working sets and called it a day for deload purposes, as instructed to by coach. So I thought, it's a low block snatch. I thought, and a low block clean and jerk, I've got three plus one on that. I thought I would wear my Ronin... Um, singlet it has my name on my legs. It's it's a fantastic singlet. It's so cool. Way 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 comfier than the weightlifting ones as well. By the way, now because this is a rowing one, I think so like a rowing brand. I do think though, it's also the first time I've ever got a singlet that's actually the right size. I've always got them too small for some reason. So it could just be that. Because it does feel the same. Right, we're warming up. Um, now, this session goes unbelievably well. This is 110. All feels absolutely fine. We go 120. The usual jump. This one feels fine. The second one also feels fine, actually. And then... And then I miss. <laughs> so I do the I do the honourable thing and go up anyway. Um, 125. My 1RM for above knee block snatch is 123. So <laughs> I was really happy with this. I've not actually done low blocks, to be honest, ever. So I don't have a 1RM. But above 1RM kind of for 3 unbelievably happy with um, especially for the first time doing low blocks so and Chris said as well like it did look easy and, it, and to be fair it did so this is the one that I really wanted um, that was a surprise it's three low block cleans um, and a power jerk or, yeah a jerk three uh, well three plus one RM now my best Again, haven't really done low block cleans. My best clean from the blocks is 160. It was a really rough 160 as well. It buried me. Um, and took about five attempts to even pull the bar. It was one of those classic get set up and then just let go. It was it was early on um, when I was still had that left hip niggle in it. I was actually saying to Danny a couple of days ago, that was just the only time. It was around the time of me finishing my dissertation where I've ever, like, been scared of, of getting under the bar, basically. Um, and since then, it, since that's healed up, obviously I haven't. So this was the day, the first real day of testing the new the new jerk technique. And I'll tell you what, actually, what I will say, maybe if to the, inquis to the, to the people who want a challenge, I'm thinking Burbsy, can you think, can you see what I've done? differently um i'll give you no prize if you get it right but i will be unbelievably impressed actually and that's a good test of your coaching i can you see uh, what i've changed on the jerk um 
I would like to say, like all YouTubers, the answer will be in the comments below after a couple of days, but we all know that's not going to happen. So, this is 110. Now bear in mind I am also putting into practice the cues learned from Saturday um, at Ronin, i.e. not trying to jump back loads, I'm trying to stay kind of grounded. Um, so that as well, but it's there is one specific cue that I'm thinking about. Um, and like I said earlier in the video, it's, it's before the actual dip and drive, so... I'll be very impressed at anyone who gets it. I have a sneaky feeling Dario might get it. Because it's something I've actually talked to him about before. Um, so he actually might get it. Who else would get it? Who else would know? Tell you who I think might actually know. I think Matthews might have a good shout as well. This is all just me. This is a terrible joke, by the way. But then I go up anyway. and It's not terrible, but it's not the best. It's a little bit wobbly. It's flying up, though. And to be fair... With this new style, or this new technique, it did feel like it just flew up. So, I was happy with that. Um, this is 150. Um, what was I going to say? After this, by the way, after these clips, I just have clips of just my jerks, and we can maybe talk about it a little bit more, but it's a really good way to see the technique um, throughout the weight. So, I hit that 150. And I was like, do you know what? My PB power jerk is 155. Let's just go 156. <laughs> so a real Hail Mary. Can I get can I get um a PB power jerk after three block cleans? I mean you'll know the answer because it'll probably be in the title. Um but there we go, I guess. I guess that's that's the world that we live in. By the way, these cleans are a lot, lot, lot smoother than my previous 160 for a single. So, happy with that. Getting a lot of elevation on the bar. Um, I guess the 171 clean has given me confidence. Right, here we go. Does he get do it, even though you already know? He does. I felt like I was going to squat jerk it. <laughs> I felt like I was going to get pushed down. <laughs> but So, yeah, PB power jerk after three cleans. I'm really happy with that. Now here's this video that I was talking about, just clips of me working up. So, again, let me know if you know the, uh, if you know what I've changed, but the, it, it's a lot better. My Again, I know this, not just by how, how it looks, I dropped my elbows a little bit, which I'm okay with. It's one of the first sessions where my lower back wasn't killing me afterwards, so I know I'm not tucking under, so that's good. Burbs.